you know my mother told me everything gonna be alright. chapter of Romans verses 14 and 15 if you have it say amen how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed. Yeah. Yeah. And how shall they believe in him yeah. of whom they have not heard? Mm -hmm. And how shall they hear right. without a preacher? Right. And how shall he preach yeah. except they be sent? Right. As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring great, glad tidings of good things. Now, we would like to talk from this thought. I saw it on the program. And uh, we like to talk from a God-sent preacher. God sent preacher. I think this is a good thing for this occasion. For truly, I can witness that this preacher is God sent. Ah. Got acquainted with him years ago. And he wasn't what he is now. But the Lord got a hold to him. And I mean the Lord changed him. The Apostle Paul recognized the plan of salvation resting largely upon the preacher's shoulder. And he said here, how shall they hear? 
without a preacher. Now the day that he was talking about is all of us plus how shall they hear people of the word here without a preacher. This shows the important position of the preacher. And I tell you, he occupies an important place in the plan of salvation for the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, the preacher deals with the spiritual and eternal things of life. And let me tell you, my darlings, these are everlasting things. Amen. And he's not just to do it one day. But he's to stay on the job every day. You see, there is no vacation in saving souls. Every day, and if necessary, every minute or hour in the day, and I think, I think we ought to stay ready. Yeah. Well, I don't think we should have to wait when we see that we have a soul to bring to the Lord. I think we ought to do it when the Lord gives the opportunity. Don't you think so? So, I tell you, this is an important position. The minister's service to humanity cannot be excelled by any other. Nobody Service surpasses the minister. Now I'm talking about I'm talking about the true minister. You see, you have two fellows on the road. You have those who are sent, and you have those who went. careful (laughs) amen because the went crowd is not concerned about nobody but self but the sent crowd amen is concerned about others Jesus wasn't concerned about himself he was concerned about others he, he announced, I came to seek and to save yeah. that which was lost. Yeah. I didn't come to help myself. Yeah. Come on, talk to me. Yeah. Man, but I came to help somebody else. Yeah. And really, church, this is what it's all about. Yeah. Helping somebody else. Yeah. Is that right? Amen. The worth of the preacher cannot be determined by material values alone, for he has a great spiritual value. You know, we sometimes strive to build a building, church building. It's good to do this. I'm not criticizing that. But you see, what God expects us to do is to do the spiritual. Huh? And, and, and you know, 
Uh, because we have money in the bank, I'm talking about as a church, we think that's it. But how many souls have we seen? Don't you know, don't you know, saving souls are worth more than all the money in the world. What will a man give in exchange for his soul? Let me tell you, my darlings, we better get on the right track. I, I, I thought about this thing the other night. And I said, the Lord want us to do more in bringing souls. I have a man in the church, and he brought a whole family the other day to church, unsaved. And the Lord saved the father, and we baptized him. And that thing has been on my mind ever since. And today, the Lord gave us another candidate. I thought about how important it is for us to become uh, uh, interested in the souls of men. And I better bring it home to us, not just the preacher only, but the whole church. Let me tell you, my darlings, we better learn what the Lord want us to do. Now, the preacher is divinely chosen, called and sent. Is that right? Well, if you don't witness, Jeremiah, if he was here, would witness. Hmm? The Lord told Jeremiah. Said before, <laughs> he told him before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And I want to tell you something: the Lord knows the man before He called him. And when God called you. You'll know it. I fought preaching for over two years. I went back to singing the blues. But I couldn't get away. The Lord got on me in prayer view again. I had to give up. He put me down. And I'm not bragging, but I could sing the blues. But the Lord wanted me to use what I had for him. God knows the man that will work for him. <laughs> Not only that, as I go on a little further here, the preacher is God's messenger to the world. Is that right? Yeah. He is God's special agent yeah. of salvation. Yeah. Are you going to talk to me? Now, 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 now. Don't fool yourself. Right. God know who to call. Yeah. Yeah. He, knew, he knew to call Brother Sebastian. Yeah. He knew he'd be sitting up here one Sunday day. Is that right? Well, let me go on here. Now, the preacher is God's way of communication. And I don't want to preach too long here today. I said the preacher is God's way of communication. He communicates with God. Amen. God tells him what to do. He tells him how to do it. He tells him when to do it. Is that right? And he's God's 
my peace to the world. So when you hear, hear the preacher, yeah. you'll hear God. Yeah. The preacher is God's most faithful steward yeah. of the church. Yeah. He's God's watchman. Yeah. Christ under shepherd. Yeah. Well, you're not going to pray with me. Yeah. And he's the church's only visible leader. Yeah. Yes, sir. He is the only key man. That Christ plays in the church. Yeah. Yeah. Is that right? Yes, sir. To Christ. Yeah. He's the angel of the church. Yeah. He is the visible head of God's business. Yeah. Yeah. On earth. Yeah. And I'm going to go on and close this out. Right. His very tracks are beautiful. Yeah. Can you hear what the words say here? Yeah. How beautiful are the feet of them yeah. that preach the gospel of peace. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Well, uh -huh. let's look a little while at the preacher's position. Yeah. Preaching is not uh -huh. a profession, yeah. but a calling. Yeah. Did you hear me? Yeah. I say it's not a profession, yeah. but it's a calling. You know, you take up certain things. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You decide yeah. if you want to be a doctor. Yeah. You decide yeah. if you want to be a school teacher. Yeah. You decide yeah. if you want to be a lawyer. Yeah. Amen. And you, <laughs> amen. You become, amen, a professional person. Yeah. Yeah. But preaching is not a profession. Preaching is a calling. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Well, let me close here. Yeah. The preacher doesn't make himself a preacher. Yeah. Now does he create his own message. Yeah. He's simply the medium yeah. by which the message is transmitted. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Now he is the delivery boy. Yeah, yeah. When I was a boy, yeah. there, they used to deliver telegrams yeah. in Conroe. Yeah. An old man that delivered, he rode a horse. Yeah. Now, he wasn't responsible for what was in the message. Yeah. But he was responsible for delivering the message. Yeah. And that's the way it is with the preacher. He's not responsible for what's in the message, yeah. but he is responsible for what's in the message. Yeah. Yeah, I must say, delivering the message. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. He delivered the message according to what the Lord said. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Well, I'm going on and close now. Yeah. His <laughs> disposition yeah. has been desired by angels of heaven but God made choice of humble men uh -huh, to preach the gospel of salvation and I want to let you know mm -hmm, that there are some good preachers and your pastor is one now the Lord said go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And this is for all preachers, for all time. My daddy was a preacher, and this was for him back there. Now the preacher is to go everywhere proclaiming the gospel of salvation. The preacher's position and commission Make him the most essential value of the church until the end. Yeah. So I tell you what, brothers, yeah. preach on. Yeah. Preach on. Yeah. Don't stop preaching. Yeah. Preach on. Yeah. He's the only message yeah. of life yeah. 
and the only regenerator of the human race. The preacher must know who Christ is. Like old man Paul knew. Paul said, for I know in whom I have believed. You got to know whom you have believed. Christ is somebody to know. The real knowledge of Christ uh uh-huh, will do things to you. It will give you courage. It will make you love your enemy. Is that right? It will make you walk right. It will make you talk right. It will make you see right. And it will make you do right. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, as I go on, the preacher message is a message of peace. It's a message of mercy. It's a message of love. It's a message of grace. It's a message of life. It's a message of truth. Is that right? Oh, Lord, yeah, because Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the light. Is that right? Oh, Lord, how shall they hear without a preacher? There is no substitute for God's plan of of proclaiming the gospel of salvation. There is no other way fixed. For the world to hear the gospel. Yeah. Other than through the preacher yeah. of the gospel. Yeah. The good news from heaven yeah. mm-hmm, must be delivered yeah. by the preacher. Yeah. No one else can do it yeah. but the preacher. Yeah. Now I better tell you this. Yeah. The whole converted church. Yeah. Amen. Has a message to tell. You might not believe it, but you are a preacher too. And you ought to tell it everywhere you go. Is that right? Now the gospel is power from on high. The gospel is fire from heaven. It is burning fire, blazing fire, live fire. It's hot fire. And hallelujah fire. It's holy fire. It's heavenly fire. Is that right? It's flaming fire. Glorious fire. Inward fire. Is that right? It's melting fire. Let me tell you, it will melt your sins away. Is that right? Oh, Lord. I got the clothes here, but I want you to know that God, when God sends a man, it makes a difference. Things change. Is that right? Now he sent Moses to Egypt land. Israel got free. Is that right? He sent Joshua across the Jordan. The walls came tumbling down. He sent Jonah to the city of Nineveh. The city repented and turned to God. He sent Ezekiel to the valley of dry bones. Is that right? And they came together. He sent Jeremiah to Jerusalem. They wouldn't hear. And the city was destroyed. He sent Daniel to Babylon. He read the writing on the wall. Daniel told them, the king, thou art weighed in the banners and a found woman. He sent Nathan to David. David repented and got on the firing line. Is that right? He sent Elijah to Ahab and Jezebel. 
Baal was destroyed. The king and the queen died. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. John preached and got the Baptist church moving. God sent Paul to Mars Hill. And the word souls were saved in every town. God sent his only son uh, to Calvary. And Lord, and Satan fell. Is that right? Oh, yeah. He died on Calvary. Oh, yeah. For the sins of the world. Yeah, yeah, I know he died, but he didn't stay dead. Hey, Sunday morning, he got up, he said, all oh, power in my hand. Oh, yeah, he said, go preach, go teach, go tell men that I died. For that sin, but it didn't stay dead. He rose. I say he rose. Oh, I'm glad he rose. He rose. Do you know he rose? The reason why I know he rose, he got up in my soul. Oh, yeah. He's all right. He's all right. He's all right. I love him today. <laughs> and one of these old days, he's going to carry all of us home. And he's going to look at us and say, Well done. Well done. Thy good and faithful servant. Come on in. Come on in. It's over now. You know, when I came to the Lord that Wednesday evening, I was on the mourner's bench, and there was an old lady. <laughs> Excuse me. By the name of Sister Lucy. She carried a strap in her pocket. To make us behave. She came there that Wednesday night. And I went on the mourner's bench. She put her hand on my head. And began to rub her hand over my head. She said it's going to get dark. It's going to get dark. It's going to get dark at the river. It's going to get dark at the river. You're going to need Jesus. Yeah. To help you cross. I got up. I got up, I gave the preacher my hand, I gave myself to the Lord, and I've been walking with Jesus. <laughs> and I'm not tired yet. He's mine. Wake would be over one day. And when my work is over, yeah, I'm going to hear him say, well done. When my work. Mm, on this earth is done. And a crown 
I this the life I want And the master Whom I serve Shall tell me Come on home I'm going home to live on high. I will hear that sweet welcome voice telling me, child, child, well done. Well done. Child, well done. Child, no more labor, no more toys. Yeah, no more tears. Every day, yes, every day will be the same. singing the praises all the time to my king I'm gonna hear that sweet welcome voice telling me child child well done are you on your way I say are you on your way I'm on my way Yes, Lord.